This is uh, La Chimbali Dosovia M49 with a smaller piston. Uh, I'm going to do a review. Its original reason why it was taken out of service was that the customer probably upgraded to the newer M50, which has a larger piston. Uh, this is a USA model. And uh, the repair, according to the repair tag, all that's needed is a, a pump and a gasket change. So um, let's take a look. Okay. So I'm loosening the hold down Phillips uh, number two. And I'm just releasing the side panels. And it, so there's tabs that hold it down. And then there's just. Uh, little pins that you can place down. Yeah, I'm going to just take everything apart just to get an idea of what I'm looking at. Again, Phillips, but in some cases there may be, like in this case, a socket head. So there's a socket head, but we usually do that. We, we use uh, 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 a different kind of screw to prevent customers from taking it apart and start messing with it. Especially on the left side. The left side has a lot of electronics and there's nothing in there for the customer to really service. This side on the other hand. This side on the other hand has relays and, and uh, power boards and uh, solenoids, uh, inlet water filter, and uh, oh, oh, okay, water pump. Water pump's not even connected. Okay, so there's a missing water pump in here. Okay, so let's continue removing items. Okay, this is the top. There's a heater, there's a cup heater in here which has been disconnected, okay? So there's a heater element in here, all along in here, and it's not needed. If there's no cups to be stored up on the top, this is just a decorative piece. Okay, it still has beans in it. So uh, you can tell it's just been yanked out of service, okay? Um, the back, the back sometimes has a uh, eight millimeter socket, I mean, hex head screws, but in this particular one, since we service it quite a bit, so we had placed regular Phillips head screws in it. And keep all these parts. Okay, I can see here the hole, the, the water pump is normally in this section and it's been removed and disconnected. This is the grinder, the grinder uh, motor relay and it's a double head, it's a double grinder system with decaf and regular or another f kind of coffee like flavor coffee. So there's two relays that handle which direction the grinder grinds, okay? So if yours only has one, that means it, it only has one one head and there's no double double bean hoppers, it's just one. Okay? So that's what this is, it goes straight to the grinder motor. Okay? And another item to note is right here, we have the pressure stack. So as you can see, it's accessible. If I'm looking at it, here's the front, that's the back. If I'm looking at it from the front, it's on the left side. Here. And what happens is we threw in a hex head, a hex socket bolt in here. A hex socket bolt in here to prevent the users from customer from popping out the panel and adjusting this pressure switch because that's that's how you increase the steam. A lot of times they, they complain that they don't have enough steam. That's because they're making too many drinks. 
uh, for this machine. This machine is designed to make two lattes in, in one minute, but if you're trying to crank out three lattes or really the venti lattes, it, it won't keep up, okay? Because the boiler, as you can see, the boiler is real small. There's the boiler. This is how big, this, this is how big the boiler is, and it's only this big. Most of the big, big units that do two head groups, the boiler's this big, so it's even bigger than the machine. So this one cannot do that large a volume. Okay. Going along, this is a computer, the boiler. The boiler is right here. There is a safety relief valve. There's a vacuum valve. And of course, the pressure switch. There's also the union that goes up to the steam valve right here. And we're going to get back to that just later because that's an important item. Uh, this is a cover for the heater element. Now, in most situations, this can be converted to three phase, but in most situations, it's not. It's just because most places only have single phase. So, so they have three separate elements and they're all hooked up in parallel. Okay. And to show you that, since this is, okay, anyway, then we have the high limit probe, and we have the voltage change options. Right now, it's set up for 200 volts, which is common in Japanese hotels. There's also an option for 240 volts and 220 volts, which is more common here in the States. Okay. There's also a light that indicates when the heater is on or off. Okay. So these are the plugs that change the voltage because as you can see with this, you just plug it into 220 single phase. Right? And to change the voltage, you would have to change the, the plugs, the jumper plugs. In England and Australia, I believe they call them toggles. toggles? Okay, so that's that side. Uh, there is also a... Uh, okay, now there's a power board, okay, for usually in the U.S. situations where they want to separate, like they want separate grounds. They want grounds to everything. Everything has a ground on it. Even the, re even the coils that are single phase, they have a ground on it. So, so this uh, on this particular machine it's mounted on the side okay but on most other machines they take this see see where it's high they mount this board on top of this and they place it over they place it over the, the, uh, the terminal block and the terminal block has all your easy quick disconnects and in our case, the, the power cable comes straight in and now in, in our case here, the green goes to the yellow wire, which is Cassie ground. The black goes to blue and gray, which is neutral. Both the blue wire and the green wire is neutral. And then the red hot, 220 volts, is on the red and black. And both of these red and black are... T. T. T for tango. So the red and the black are both run to the red. That's this plus T. For the red that goes to the hot. The gray and blue wire goes to the neutral. Now, there are other wires connected here, but they're more or less just jumped together. They're part of the... All they are are... This is the last three. They're, they're part of the doggle the voltage, voltage control wiring to the transformer. So these three items all go to the transformer. But they don't need to be on this terminal block. They can be just connected together. I 
yeah with yeah see they're just connected together okay so it's not needed you don't need to have it on the terminal block it could just be dumped together and in this particular scenario the blue the blue wire is connected to the, the blue wire is connected to tr1 so blue wire and black wire which is 200 200 200 wire is connected together so 200 and blue is connected together t20 20 are connected together along with another wire there's a black wire that goes to the TR1 okay. so 220, 220 and then a black wire that goes to the TR1 okay. and then the last one is a black and white where the black is Two forty going to the dowels, two forty wire, and it's connected to the white wire, which is connected to the TR wire. Okay, and that's all on terminal block one. Okay. And again, you don't need these last few connectors because they're just a union point. Okay, you could just take this out. You could just take this out if you wanted to, and wrap it in tape and just leave it. There. Okay, or they might have a, a spade to spade connector and you just plug it together. Okay, so you don't really need to turn this off. Now, so, so you can see the transformer has this bundle of wire, and then there's another bundle of wire here, which is two reds, a pink, yellow, and a gray, and they're marked on a transformer. This particular transformer is is the okay this particular transformer is number 502505 that 502505 TR1 transformer okay so main power comes in here goes some of it goes to the transformer and the rest go to Okay, this gray, red, and black. Gray, red, and black. Gray, red, and black. That's this power. Goes straight up into right here. The two relays I was telling you about. Okay, and out of the two relays, power goes straight into here. And out of the relays. The jumper across. Okay, this is this is a, a solo man. The these thin red wires. I told you those are always relays or solo man. Coil relays or solo. So so even though main power comes right up to here, the output is some low, not low low voltage. It's still high voltage, but it goes to other power boards. And just distributes out. Okay. So here's another power board with smaller relays on it that controls smaller options. I have one option written in here which goes up to the display part. Okay. And you can lift up the display board. Double grinders, yours only has the single, which is regular. This one has decaf. Or some other flavor. Yeah, this is the group. 
This is the uh, water pressure regulator. There's a gauge up here to regulate the pressure. And as I said, the USA usually has an optional steam one. Okay.